everyone welcome back to another edition of the driving professor for those of you who are new to the channel i am your host as always rashid white i'm a professional driver been driving tractor trailers and buses for about 25 years or so and here just teaching people defensive driving strategies that'll save them time money personal injuries and most importantly their lives and we get into some other stuff on this channel too over here all right this actually comes from i think it comes from florida yeah somebody <laughs> causes a multi-car accident uh for stopping for a turtle on the road man i mean it's it's insane it's the stuff that we have to actually watch out for you <laughs> look at this guy over here man let me get to this over here it's not really funny hold on yeah so one of the things you actually see is uh drivers are actually really following too closely behind each other there man you should have at least three two you know depending on how fast you're going three car lengths right there and you should always be looking 12 to 15 seconds ahead just to make sure um you know nothing is really out of the ordinary over there and this guy that actually stopped for the turtle is a real i don't want to say he's an idiot he actually really means well but i mean dude come on man you can uh I mean, you can seriously hurt or kill somebody like this, man. Yeah, I mean, at that point, listen, I, and I, I try to actively, uh, I'm an animal lover too. Uh, if I see like pigeons, and, you know, I drive in New York City, I drive a bus in New York City. And if I see actually pigeons on the road, I honk the horn. Um, but listen, if I can't avoid them, it's, I'm not going to cause a crash or a serious accident and wind up losing like a limb or something like that, or, um, possibly dying just, just, just for an animal, man, you know? And like I, and like I said, I'm an animal lover too. This is, look at this one more time over here. So these guys following too closely, he's breaking, um, this guy right here, I don't know if I would want even this video out, man, because uh, you know your insurance premium, premiums are actually going to go up over here. Mm. This guy over here that that's, has the dash cam, if you, have to, if you have to go into the grass, by all means, actually do that, man. Um, and this is stuff that you guys should have to constantly weigh in your mind right there man um you know look constantly looking ahead looking at the shoulders i'm um, just analyzing every single thing that's out there man uh you know because mm. look at it one more time over here yeah this truck this this uh guy in the pickup truck should probably move this um uh car like off the road right there man especially if you have a pickup truck yeah man and the actual turtle winds up actually probably getting squashed anyway and it's unfortunate man but um unless it's like a deer or something like that i mean it's something that can really seriously probably hurt you or kill you uh don't swerve for animals like this i mean there was one time i you know i used to be an over the road truck driver i was uh in minnesota and there was some geese that was crossing the road and um you know i was a new truck driver too so i mean the same thing actually happened to me too and i actually had to take the truck really into the next lane to avoid actually slamming into the back of this guy uh potentially you know seriously hurting him or or killing him, man. So, um, let me see what some of the comics actually has to say over here. <laughs> and it is exactly the turtle died anyway. <laughs> so, not only did he stop his car for the turtle, but he got out of his vehicle, uh, Darwin of the Year Award. Yeah, man. And the guy who actually got out of his vehicle stopping on a, uh, on a highway like that could have been hurt or, or killed. Um, he said, the first thing I taught my kids when they were learning to drive is not to swerve around animals in the road way, but that creates more accidents, but these clowns are stopping on the freeway. Yeah, so a lot of people are really in disagreement of this, man. Uh, I would advise people not to really, really do this unless it's like, you know, you somewhere up in New Hampshire, 
uh, like Maine, Vermont, and you actually have a moose or something like that, and you're driving like a little Toyota Corolla, um, I would try to like hit the brakes and, and then try to swerve, you know, make sure you always check in your mirrors. You actually really know where every single person is around you, you know, and just don't get uh, uh, complacent, man. And the hard thing about this is that, you know, um, a lot of people aren't going to really do this, man. Most people, you know, you get this like, uh, I don't know if I'm pronoun saying it right, normalcy bias, I guess. And you're just thinking, you know, for the most part. You, you know, you're driving on the road, you're driving on the highway, um, and you don't prepare for things like this, man. But, um, yeah, man, I mean, this is like weeks of actually having your car, having to get repaired, and also your car being devalued now. Now is now that it's in an accident, and your insurance premium is actually going up. And God knows, you know, in this economy today, man, you don't want none of that, man. So just like, um, <laughs> that's just, it's crazy over here, man. All right. Definitely like, comment, subscribe. Certainly share this video. And when you share, the universe certainly shares back with you. Peace.